What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. As promised, we got a couple of how-to videos coming up. As you know, we got the new wheels in, and when you get aftermarket wheels, sometimes you have to put in your own valve stems. So that's what we're gonna do today. Obviously super pumped about, get, about getting these new wheels. And we're finally getting the tires uh, mounted and balanced on the wheels tomorrow so we can put the dang things on the car finally. So it's late, but we gotta get these valve stems in so we can get uh, the wheels and tires over to the tire shop right away in the morning and get it done. So let's go for it. So we have one of the valve stems here. Like I said, I liked the nice polished valve stems, uh, but look at how they're constructed here. They have two nuts. Uh, one will tighten down and the other will act kind of as a locking nut. Uh, then this sort of um, concaved washer course that I can hold on to. This is the shape of it here. That will help suck the rubber uh, grommets, I guess you'd call them, together. So we have to deconstruct the valve stem first before we put it together or put it onto the wheel, of course. So we take the one rubber grommet washer not sure really what the technical term is. Take it off and you can see how they come together and this is what the rim gets pinched in between these two and that's what uh, creates that airtight seal. So you find your valve stem. Jeez, oh, with the dropping. Put it in the hole like so to this type, I guess you call it a flush mount. Uh, there's a couple different, these were called flush mount. Some actually are flush, but uh, these sit nicely down in that opening. And you can see on the back side, it just comes out. So, so now you're seeing the back side of the valve stem poking through the inside of the wheel. And this is where we put this rubber gasket back on, gasket, washer, uh, grommet, whatever you want to call it. Try to work it down tight. And obviously this back side of this valve stem is threaded. So then you take your concave washer, convex, conical, dished, whatever <laughs> sits on there perfect and put on your first washer you tighten it down and if you're like me, which I think is genetic, I get it from my father, I just don't quite know when to stop. But the key is to get these tightened down uh, pretty well. Um, when you start to see the rubber uh, basically bulge, start, start to bulge slightly out, that's probably tight enough. Uh, you don't wanna get it too tight to where you actually spread the uh, rubber gasket, grommet, washer out, whatever you want to call it. You don't want it to get too tight to where it starts to um, really s spread too far out and then it kind of breaks that airtight seal. So we're going to take a, a pliers or you can take a wrench and tighten it down just until that rubber starts to bulge up. got a nice little bulge. Um, the nut turns relatively easily. You can start to feel a little bit of a resistance when uh, it gets to be tightened down just enough. But again, there's a little bulge and we'll take a look at the front side. It's sitting down in there. They're nice and seated. The 
we go. Focused in. So just a slight bulge on, uh, in the rubber on the front side as well. Now you take the second nut and tighten that down. Really, you don't, I mean, that's tight enough, as tight as you can get it with your finger. Uh, but I do a little, of course, try not to overkill, but just do a little twist with the your, uh, wrench or pliers, and that locks that first nut in place. So that's it. Pretty simple, pretty basic. Only takes a couple of minutes, truly. And... And you have a nice looking valve stem on your new aftermarket wheel. Only three more to go. Shouldn't take too, that, too long. Uh, we'll get it wrapped up tonight and we'll get these wheels and tires mounted in the morning. Stay tuned. Can't wait to uh, see what they look like on the car. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks a lot.